Using smart tools and filters through a simple interface in Substance 3D apps is easy. But sometimes you need to go further and adjust materials or create your own filters, effects, and brushes from scratch. That's where Adobe Substance 3D Designer comes in. Substance 3D Designer lets you unlock the full Substance ecosystem with a powerful system of graphs and nodes. The graphs you build are visual networks that represent a process for creating 3D resources. Each building block of a graph, called a node, represents a step in the process. You connect, split, and merge nodes together to build your final result. Graphs and nodes are easy to get started with, yet they allow you to build incredibly deep and complex systems. Substance Designer lets you build a few different types of graphs, each intended for a different kind of resource. The most common graph type is the Substance Graph, where nodes process and create 2D texture outputs that can be anything from grayscale patterns and shapes to complex realistic materials. Then, Substance Models are graphs that let you create parametric 3D models. And going even deeper, you'll find graphs for MDL shaders and mathematical functions. Creating graphs in Substance Designer offers an efficient and dynamic way of making content. Creating a pattern by hand might be faster if you do it just once. But with graphs, you can tweak it infinitely by using parameters, little controls that change the results on the fly. When you're done creating your graph, you package it up for use in other applications. There, you can still customize the results with presets, exposed controls, and parameters. That means you can change details and colors of a substance material or sizes and forms of a Substance model in any supported software. That's Adobe Substance 3D Designer, giving you full control of the power of Substance, whatever the subject. <laughs>